Hi everyone, welcome to the 95th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about uh, the working mechanism of scikit-learn libraries, the scikit-learn models, functions and methods, how it calculates its uh, automatically at the back end. We will more, most probably will look into this. The, uh, the intention of this session is not to uh, make you learn about the classification model that I am using here at decision trees, but rather something else. So that I will be teaching it or I'll be explaining in this session. So what I will do, I'll import the data set from scikit-learn, import the pandas libraries, then I will import a train test split and then import a tree from sklearn and again import accuracy. All at once I'll import and then I will import the iris data set and I'll extract the features and the labels. After that, what I will do, I'll create the cross validation followed by creating the decision tree classifier. After that, I'll fit and transform that I've already explained in my fit and transform session, followed by predicting the classifier and printing the accuracy. Fine enough, my accuracy is uh, is 92%. Now, now, the main session starts from here. If we type classifier here, dot if we give, what are the like methods of classifier, object classifier, apply, classifier, classes, everything is, you can see n number of things. How, if I want to create a pandas data frame, wherein, uh, suppose if I select this, classifier.tree and enter, okay, I'll get the values. Similarly, if I give classifier.apply or classifier.classes, these are there three classes, 0, 1, 2. Now, the main intention is I want to create a data frame where in one column I have all the names of my uh, the methods of my classifier followed by the values of that classifier. So what we will do, uh, we will simply first of all we will create a pandas data frame. From here our main course start, main uh, session starts from the line number forty one. Okay, we have already imported pandas now. Create a df is equals to data frame. I'll create an empty data frame and then df. Now, few things I will first of all teach you. I'll a uh, few things first of all I'll mention if dir is an inbuilt function. So what is our object? Classes is an object, classifier is an object, decision tree classifier. Now if I give dir, everything will come here in this list. Similarly, if I give var and I give classifier, finally again in, okay, this var is, okay, now just related to my uh, tree all the features functions everything related to my tree all the functionality will come into this uh, dictionary now what we will do is we have already created a data frame so df will create objects which is equals to dir and will pass the classifier so now we'll execute this okay if i give df dot head so these are the things now uh, what I will do I will go to view and I will enable the okay so now uh, what I want is one more column here which contain the value what is the abstract method what is the classes what is the attributes every directory everything what so in order to do that it's a bit complicated but that is fine we'll create an empty list list one Okay, now for attribute in dir classifier list one dot append and then we give we'll use a get attribute function. Now, if you want to use the get attribute function, so what we will do now, first of all, uh, if you type the right here get get attribute okay and then what you do you write the classifier C L A classifier comma A T T or what is the attribute here this is one of the attribute you copy this and you paste it here uh, 
uh, sorry if you write it like this it is a frozen set okay so this is the value now if you want to create a list which contains all for each particular method what is my value if we have to use something like we are passing it one by one value now keep this like just keep it on hold i will i just want to show you why i am using this get attribute why, why i am not using the other methods now if i say that for i in list one print classifier dot i okay if i print this what will happen okay now if i type here what is my the value of list there are 65 elements one by one is copied here now if i uh, give here for i in list one If we try to print this, okay. Now, if you see here, if we uh, this will create some confusion, so I'll give some print settings so it will be uh, easy to distinguish. Okay, now see what see all this item will be the same see this is nothing but my if i give classifier here classifier this is the value of classifier so actually if we try to print in this fa fashion it will print the value of classifier and whereas the classifier dot that particular method will not be printed so you see every like method remains the same splitter set params and if you go to the top see here or uh, here it's leaf here it's random state here it's a uh, score so we are not like if you use this we will not be able to print the exact value because classifier itself is some variable it's a object and it will print its value and so if you want to print here classifier classifier dot it's any suppose apply we Ah, this is the function of classifier that apply right and again if you see something else classifier dot classes uh, three classes we are not able to print so in the uh, due to this reason we have to use the get attribute method so for so we'll see say list two is equals to empty and then list two dot append and how it works is like it's very simple list two dot append and then we'll give give get attributes classifier comma ATT okay. and what we will do we will also print ATT now if we execute this we will get see each and every command like classifier dot method one method like get attribute classifier dot score classifier dot random set classifier dot cla class everything is executed and we can get the value of each and every method perfectly okay see classifier dot class number of classes see number of features is four number of outputs is one whereas if you use this list or any other method it will you might get but this is one of the method which i think will help in our case using the get attribute method. now once we get this our list to contain that so now we will get df values df values which is equal to list to one okay we will execute this now once we execute this we will go to of df df the head if you give So you can say for all the respective like objects whether it's an abstract method 
what is what is a class what is the dictionary what is the directory what is we have everything okay this is how the back end uh, process of scikit learn works especially for the regression classification models and even for the rest of the thing it will also work in the same way and this is like i am really thrilled to uh, like give uh, to share this uh, findings which i have done uh, so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful uh, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and uh, if you have any query or any question feel free to uh, post in the comment section i will definitely reply and i'll see you in the next section and i'll and soon i'll be coming up with uh, around like n number of sessions on list uh, followed by uh, dictionaries followed by classes and then i'm also working on uh, logistic regression uh, in depth knowledge about logic logistic regression so i'll see you in the next video thank you